Hi everyone, welcome to Roses Are Red. I'm Rosetta Marie, your reader. I hope you're doing well. Um, so I'm going to pull some cards for this energy. What's going on with this energy? What's going on with y'all? I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, let's see. Daydream and adventure. So somebody is dreaming about going on an adventure. Um, this could be a tropical paradise, thinking about moving somewhere, possibly Bali or somewhere in that area, um, Dubai area. So, or for some people, it could be Alaska, somewhere on a retreat, but it's like you're starting the process of manifestations. Like you're just thinking it could be possible or that might be nice. And then you're putting yourself in that place. Like you're living there in your mind and then all of a sudden, this is a reality for some of y'all. Because it's going to be a matter of you just booking a flight and moving there. Somebody's saying, yeah, okay. So there could be some haters in your life that don't believe you're going to do what you put your mind to. They're trying to stop you from manifesting. This could be your family. Somebody that doesn't want to see you uh, leave them. They don't want to see you achieve any of your dreams. Cause they're jealous and um, this is precisely why they got you manifesting something so beautiful, like anything but them anywhere, but here. And the more they bother you and harass you, the better your dreams become. And so, yeah, they're, they're pretty much packing your bags and booking your, your flight. So you can be grateful for what's going on right now. What's going on? Indulgence, yeah. And it's not going to be hard at all for you to spoil yourself when you're on this trip. If you decide to ever come back, it's not going to be difficult at all as long as you keep them in your heart. These people who traumatize you, keep your heart open to them because they're going to they're gonna keep you in this space of wanting to pamper yourself, wanting to love and nourish yourself and pretty much just heal for the rest of your life. Just heal, constantly healing. Um, everything you do is contributing to your well-being. This could be something you do professionally, maybe going into a therapeutic stage. Some of y'all could be cooks, but I'm seeing you being an expertise and very talented. Maybe this is something you wanted. Like if you had a choice between money and talent, you probably chose talent, knowing that talent could also be considered money, not just in the semantic way you know like vocabulary wise the word talent could actually mean coin but your talent could be uh profitable to you or also like having talent is more valuable than spending money because you can sit in a room with your talent but if nobody wants your money then it's is dead air. You have to have things to spend it on. You have to have people who are willing to accept it. It's like a whole relationship here that needs to work. Whereas though with this, you're manifesting is like, is all you, but I'm definitely seeing some materialism here. Cause you got a new car or you're looking into a new car. Somebody could be doing van life. Like, cause I'm still seeing you being alone. Some more on this energy. It seems like people are trying to tag along that don't have your best interests. And so they want you to feel unsafe because as soon as you let them go, everything you ever hope for is just going to pop right up out of nowhere, I feel like. Like all of a sudden you just have some money in your account and all of a sudden you spend it on something that you really, really been looking forward to. Like a trip to Bali. And then since you've been, uh, I'm here volunteering, but maybe some of y'all are volunteering and it's like, maybe you're volunteering in a travel agency or something, but it seems like because you've been manifesting for so long, it's real easy for you to get there. So you've got a player here strategizing. I'm kind of seeing you as being this player. Like you're playing a game right now. You're being very strategic with it. By the type of content you consume, 
classroom. Like, I think it's just like building this picture for you and you're adapting to the things you learn. Like if you're learning, if you're watching videos on manifestations, you're applying that info. It's not just going in one ear and out the other. By the next video you watch, you know exactly how to use that information and build this this new life for yourself. And you have more access to this manifestation, this energy of manifesting. You could do so much more with it because nobody can keep you on a box. Like it might have been in the past where you felt like you were trapped or like you felt like any and everything had access to you. And now you know that anybody says your boundary is the one that's getting trapped themselves. You know, like they're the ones with the issues. You're supposed to remain lighthearted and open hearted to this positive energy coming in. This light that's coming in, like don't shut out the light. Is all money is all valuable. Yeah, so you might have been around some really toxic energies that was like not allowing you to connect. And you you being able to connect is what creates these uh miracles in your life. How you're able to make things so quickly is because you connect to it and it's yours. But you might have been in a place where energy is just so toxic that um if you were to learn from that, which I don't feel like you are, like you're not learning from things that don't have your best interest in heart. You just completely ignore them. But if you, if someone was to learn from that, then they would have been misinformed or miseducated, but you skipped over that. Now you have a twin flame coming in. You could be strategizing with this twin flame, or this could be someone who was close to your family who is also sending you positive energy and encouragement to continue doing what you're doing, doing what makes sense for you. You could be re reconciling with them or rebuilding with them. Yeah, somebody definitely tried to lay eggshells at your feet and say, don't you dare step on that shell. You know, like the world is going to end if you step on that shell as if it was like a... um a grenade or something and it just isn't it really isn't that deep you can step on these shells all night and day and nothing's going to happen but uh calcium you're, you're just making calcium powder and i'm also seeing crushed bones for some people um you could be drinking bone broth at this time so yeah whoever she's wearing a mask they could be hiding behind an identity behind fur this could be an animal that's trying to intimidate you in some way um, and trying to scare you from going off track. This track that they created for you to remain in a circle. You don't even have to remember the matrix, like the lines in the matrix, where where's the territory they so-called say you're not allowed to cross because it's all delusion. It's all schizophrenia. All right, so you have a secret admirer but I feel like this person could be trying to portray themselves as a secret admirer uh, in, genu in genuine, in genuine, in, in reality. I feel like they're haters or possibly coming off as haters, but secretly admiring you. Yeah, because they have the energy of a hater right now, but they do secretly admire you. They just realize that you're not, you don't want anything to do with them and you're not going to have anything to do with them. Like they can't force a relationship with you. If you don't want to deal with them, you just won't. This person is addicted to you. They have a very unhealthy attachment. You might have not given this person anything to go off of. Like, it's not like you fed a stray cat. They're not coming back to something that you've done in the past. You've constantly said no. And now I feel like it's not an issue anymore because you were protecting them the whole while. They're addicted to you. And so you're trying to protect them from overdosing. And now I feel like you're just not going to be wasting any more time trying to protect people that just don't respect your boundaries. Not today. Boundaries and hurt. Avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset. They're upset about something. Toxic, very toxic individuals. And we're not even supposed to be reading this energy. Somebody could have hooked up with somebody just recently, a one night stand. Um, I feel like this is kind of clouding the manifestation. So the message here could be to stay focused on what really makes you happy and not get sidetracked by 
other people's energy. Even if they seem to be talking to you, they shouldn't be talking to you because one, you're not even in the same room. Okay, so this person could be trying to reach through the boundaries you've already set. Even if you are in the same room, maybe you guys are separated by cubicles or whatever the case is, like, or even just not so much class, but like something where they have to indirectly speak to you because you don't want to be their friend. So you would never engage in a conversation with them. So they're 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 trying to cross whatever boundaries you have set up is what I'm getting. They shouldn't be talking to you. And if they are talking to you, then they're crazy. Okay. And that's what needs to be ignored. So you have Queen of Cups here. Keep yourself in a positive state of mind because it's so important right now. This is your bread and butter. Like what I'm getting from talent is like your money is your peace of mind. And it's going to be valued in the future if it's not already being valued right now. Okay. Your peace of mind is so powerful. And this is why evil entities are trying to interrupt you. Also why addicts are trying to uh, misuse your energy in some way. It's like they're pretending to be in love with you. But also I feel like your real love is very close by and respects you from a distance because you're not ready for him or her. And at some point you will be and you'll be settled. You two will be celebrated. And then you had the full in reverse. I feel like so much more isn't on the way for you. And also you two, like you two have a bond here that it's like your energy is being read together. You're learning so much about each other right now, yourselves as well. But you, you two are very similar. I believe twin flame did come up. Your false twin flame came in and then your real twin flame is here. Someone who's been protecting you. But you probably pushed this person away because you weren't ready. And they respected that. They didn't really have a choice to. This connection here. Yeah, like you, you're you very serious about this person. And they can sense it. They respect you so much. The connection is eternal, eternal and unbreakable. Because I feel like you love them like you love yourself. And you respect yourself so much. So there's no way... You will ever mess this up. You two are very enlightened individuals, very high-minded people. I'm also hearing high seekers, but that's coming off as addicts. I'm not sure how to read into that energy, but some 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 of this this energy is coming out like somebody is seeking to get high. Um, let me pull some cards on this. Maybe for some of y'all, it's like, don't push these people away anymore. Just let them get high. I don't know what to say. I don't know what that's about. Impatient. Yeah, like they're kind of like trying to push through the doors. I, I, I constantly get a zombie energy here. But we got to we gotta remember that this is a metaphor. It's coming off as being vulgar. What is this? Stay in the right frequency. Because even as even as you move into your new era, your new area, there's still going to be in energies and entities that don't want you to succeed because you are the one controlling the energy because you're the one controlling the frequency. So I feel like, yeah, like you do have some addicts around you. I'm, I just saw addict. And what can I say? Because if you're not benefiting from this, then they need to go. They can't have any more of your energy. And they're just, they're just going to have to be upset if they don't get what they want. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about it. They're going to have to be quiet. Stay in the background. Use your intuition at this point. Yeah, you're not playing any games with zombies or addicts or anybody trying to feed off of your energy. It's very crucial that you remain pure and intact for your twin flame. You don't have to share any type of thoughts or thought space with them. Yeah, that's what this connection is. They're trying to force a connection with you. They're trying to force a relationship with you, and it's just not going to work. Okay? And they're very clumsy about it, like bumping into walls, trying to get close to you. Some of them are breaking through walls. They're going to go to jail if that's the case. All right, you have 
finicky, like they're finicky and fussy. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some uh, superstition here. I'm seeing patrol cops coming and taking them away, maybe going to the pound, because I'm really feeling like with that, ball, with that dog barking, it's like maybe this person is a dog. Or maybe they're raggedy to some extent. Maybe they rely on other people to take care of them, whatever it is. Um, there's some superstition here. Or somebody is very gullible, like they'll believe anything. I feel like you have so much control and so much power at this point. You just have to really decide what it is that you want and where you exactly do you want to direct this energy. For somebody overseas, you're going to be catching a plane. Okay, yeah, so this, even, this energy is very thievish. So it's something like it's, it's coming in your life to take something away, like a parasite, like it wants to get under your skin to feed off of whatever you're being fed. But ultimately, with this type of energy, I feel like you have to use it, find something to use it for. Because I feel like you've been building walls long enough time to open the floodgates and allow your blessings to come in and use whatever comes in to create whatever you want for yourself just building your dream whatever your talent is you're cooking it out right now with this eight of pentacles and you have page of pentacles in reverse so you have some youthful energy Whereas though you can break rules and not suffer any consequences for breaking those rules because you're still young. That's what I'm getting. Like some of y'all is like you're being reincarnated to basically do whatever you want. And nobody can tell you no because they're not your parents. Like this energy is coming out very young. They can't tell you what to do. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. So clarify this King of Cups because I can definitely see, okay, this King of Cups is about to be the one that's going off to jail. I feel like this person is also like going to a spiritual jail and then I'm in this energy. They're going to a spiritual jail because they're having their tower moment. So you might have been stepping on somebody's eggshells and didn't realize it because it's not important. But what they did in retaliation is going to get them in even deeper shit than they're in right now. And that's going to be their karma. So, yeah, it's something about pay you. And that's why you end up calling the cops on them. And also, this is spiritual as well. The spiritual realm is like they tried to hook onto you. You but you them like uh like like sleigh dogs or something, and they're gonna drag you to the place where you want to be.